Ben Isabel from Michigan Pines, and we are standing in a field of 200 Scotch Pines. Okay, so we are learning from our mistakes here, and Ron is gonna share what we need to do different. And this is just for us to remember and to share with you for planting tree purposes. So what happened here? So what we did was we thought because these were <clears throat> um, seedlings, thought that we could just divot and open up the ground and just drop them in and they're a little bit too big of a tree so they basically all fell over and were not deep enough and so i'm going back and digging a hole for each tree and the ground is also really wet and kind of like clay and it's hard to pack them in so we're bringing in fill dirt and putting fill dirt in the cracks between the clay that we're uh, filling the trees in with so so let's look at the ones that you fixed are the first three rows here. First three rows are the rows that I worked on so far. So they're standing up straight. So we had some of them in the ground. They were just like not in well and they were really crooked, which you'll be able to kind of see in the following rows. So we are planting our trees um, five feet apart with seven foot rows. The seven foot rows are so that we can get a mower down here pretty easily. Um, and then five feet gives them all room to grow. Um, I don't know how well you can see these. So these are the ones that he's fixed, but then if you move down here, let's see this one here. Yeah, so then you can kind of see down these rows that they just, like up here, they're pretty crooked. Um, they just didn't go in like the divots well. So we're gonna have to take more time. Really, I mean, it wasn't, it was just so we could get all 1,000 trees in the ground I think quicker than maybe we should have. So we now know we need to take a little bit more care and putting them in and a little bit more time. Um, and then I think we're just gonna start doing increments like two, two plantings a year. We're gonna do um, 600 in the spring and 600 in the fall. Then we won't have to go back and do all of this work to fix it. The other difficult part is like Ron said, planting in the field right now. Um, back here, there's just a lot of clay. So it's just really tough to pack that in. When you dig out a clay hole, it's just like one giant clump and it's hard to pack it back in around the tree. Um, so we just wanna make sure that the trees grow up straight and that we're taking extra care of each of them and giving them the best chance that they have to grow into a beautiful Christmas tree. Jacob's working real hard about it over there too. Anything else, Ron? Well, that's about it. Just got to get them planted properly. Like this is a prime example. I could basically just pull this out of the ground. Yeah. And we were just in too much of a rush. Yeah. We'll get it done right. And hopefully everything will survive. So the other thing is to what kind of tree is this? This is a scotch pine. Okay. And then there's 300 of these? 200. Okay, so 200 yep. of these. What about the white pines next to these? Are they so looking are fine? The Do they look fine? For the most part, those look good because they came in uh, pots. Okay. So we had to dig holes for those and put those in the ground and replant them. And then the balsam firs over here, okay, because they were small balsam enough. Balsam firs are straight ahead and then to your left are the con color. And they all turned out okay because they, they were small, out. right? Good, yep. And that's a smaller tree. It's just that the white pines and the scotch uh, pines are a bigger tree. At least the way that we got them, so they were harder to plant. Yeah. They needed to be dug out. So now we know for the future, if we get a bigger tree like this, like some of these are probably over two feet. Mm -hmm. Going on three feet. And I'm almost six, six in this trees up to here. Right. So these are really big trees. So these really needed to be dug. And that's what we'll do. Yep, living and learning. And someday little Jake's gonna be the best tree farmer around because mm -hmm. he's gonna learn from all of our mistakes.
Right, Jake? Yeah. That one in there good, Jake? Yeah. That one's not. <laughs> Is it? Is it? So let's find some of the leaning trees because we need to learn from our mistakes so we don't make these mistakes again. Okay. Ooh, there's a real leaner over here. So yeah, these are put in a little bit crooked. And so, these need to be fixed, right? Yeah, and it needs to be perfectly straight. Like, none of them. None of them look, like, perfect. Right. So we're learning from our mistakes, and we're going to grow and do it better next time. Right?